In June 2021, Indiana Jones 5 started filming. While the fans are excited to see Harrison Ford return on set as Indy, after Ford suffered a shoulder injury, the movie was back in production in September 2021, with a plan to be released in July 2022. Although it was confirmed that the release date had been delayed to June 2023, James Mangold intends to make sure it's worth the wait. Recap The fifth installment is expected to be released in 2023, 15 years after its predecessor. In 2008, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull came out, with plans for the next installment to feature time travel components. But because of the delays in the production, some aspects of the movie didn't go as planned, including Ford's involvement in the franchise. The fifth installment will be directed by James Mangold, and Harrison Ford will be reprising his role as Dr. Henry Jones, a world-famous archaeologist. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Mads Mikkelsen, Boyd Holbrook, and Antonia Banderas will also be joining him on the long-awaited adventure. After all, having James Mangold in the director's chair instead of Spielberg might not be a bad idea. The Logan director certainly knows a thing or two about directing aging action heroes. Also, Spielberg may produce the movie so he could keep an eye on the project. David Kep, the movie's screenwriter, was also replaced by Jonathan Kasdan, Solo, a Star Wars story, which delayed the production process for another year. There was a picture of a sign at Pinewood Studios posted on Twitter by Marshall. On the sign, the text reads, Home Stretch, along with an Indiana Jones hashtag, so that everyone has a clue about which movie he's talking about. Although, we don't know exactly how long it'll take for the shooting to wrap up, we may be looking at the last week of principal photography. Earlier on New Year's Day, director James Mangold had said that there was only a month left for the filming of Indiana Jones 5 to come to an end. Still, with all the difficulties caused by the pandemic to all the movie productions and some other tragedies that the project had to overcome, being only one month over D was practically nothing. Harrison Ford had one rule for doing the movie, which he specified in a 2008 interview while on a press tour for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Ford stated in the interview that as long as it doesn't take 20 years for the fifth installment, he wouldn't mind returning to the franchise. Since Indiana Jones 5 is expected to be released on June the 30th, 2023, which is 15 years after Indy's last crusade, Ford's expiration date was close to being surpassed. Ford kept his word despite all the complications while filming, which only proves that his involvement in the film was inevitable since he's also the star of the franchise. Put your hands down, will you? You're embarrassing us. Release date Indiana Jones 5 is expected to arrive in the movie theaters on June 30, 2023, after many delays which postponed the release date. As we mentioned earlier, the movie was supposed to have its premiere in July 2019, but was pulled back to July 10, 2020. Then it was shifted back by Disney for another year to July 19, 2021, and once again to July 29, 2022. As of today, the final release date is set for June 30, 2023, since Disney had to move it back along with other movies. It was also confirmed by Disney that Ford had a shoulder injury while practicing a fight scene on set. Luckily, Ford quickly recovered and, as of September 8th, was back on set. Meanwhile, Mangold cleared all the rumors suggesting that the filming has been shut down and revealed on Twitter that the shooting will be completed by January 2021. With the movie is now set to open in June of 2023, the production should have more time for post-production and for reshoots, which will probably be needed as part of most blockbuster productions. This is intolerable! Cast. It will be no surprise to hear that Harrison Ford will be returning to his title role once more for the Indiana Jones 5. Frank Marshall, the producer, also stated that there won't be a recast for the role in the new movie. That's some good news since no one can play Indiana Jones except Ford, who has said, when I'm gone, he's gone. It's easy. Get it in your head. The female lead will be played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge as she revealed her first look in the movie. Mads Mikkelsen will be joining her, along with Marvel star Thomas Kretschmann and the Predator star Boyd Holbrook. For now, we don't have many details about their characters, but Mikkelsen has hinted that the script was everything he wished it to be. I do think I'm invited to create a character. I think that everybody wants that, he said. Since the filming began, it has also been confirmed that Toby Jones has joined the cast, as well as Antonia Banderas. The roles of other newcomers have been kept secret. The legendary composer John Williams 
has also been confirmed to return with a new score for the movie, after 40 years when he began with Raiders of the Lost Ark. John Reese davies told Digital Spy of his wish to return to his title role, Sela, who had his first appearance in Raiders of the Lost Ark and after that in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Marion Ravenwood most likely won't be back. She played Indy's love interest in Raiders and Crystal Skull. When Indiana Jones 5 was officially announced in 2016, Karen Allen wasn't contacted, even though she was involved in the early stages of the movie. But does it mean that she's not coming back? We can't tell for sure, because a lot has changed since 2016 and she told Digital Spy that she's willing to explore more of Marion's story. Jim Broadbent, who starred in Crystal Skull, said in 2017 that he would like to reprise the role of Charles Stanforth, Indy's boss at Marshall College. Something that caught us by surprise was that Star Wars actor Mark Hamill could be the possible villain in the new movie, which is something we'd love to see. Are you crazy? Don't go between them! Go between them! Are you crazy? <laughs> Story the story details about Indy's adventure are being kept secret for now, although there was a leaked filming video which shows that Indy will once more go head-to-head -head with Nazis in the fifth installment, it's uncertain whether the video is a flashback sequence or the Nazis are the main villains in the movie. There was also a time travel tease with a set photo. The movie will occur after Crystal Skull and it will feature an older Dr. Jones. Ford commented on re-examining the character later in life, saying, It's interesting to see it in a different light. It'll be fun and a good thing to do. It's been more than a decade since Indy's last journey, so if the movie follows this too, it'll happen during the late 1960s, one of America's most turbulent decades. A mysterious tweet might have confirmed our doubt, but no matter what happens, Kathleen Kennedy has made it clear to fans that it won't be a reboot. All this lines up with some gossip that the new movie could have some connection to the space race. It's possible that we could get an official confirmation of the storyline for the fifth movie, but Disney will most likely want us to keep on guessing. There haven't been any plans revealed for the movie by Mangold, although he did state that he will find an emotional center to operate from, and he wishes to push the franchise to some place new. Despite being one of the highest grossing movies of 2008, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull wasn't well received by most fans, and with Harrison Ford getting older, we don't know what to expect from the future movie. But we're definitely excited to see Indy's new adventure in the much-anticipated Indiana Jones 5. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts and expectations of the fifth season. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.